hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you are doing well so guys in this video we'll be uh, learning how we can perform automatic data labeling with the help of microsoft uh, multi-model called florence 2. so in my youtube channel i already created one tutorial uh, on this microsoft florence 2 there i showed you how we can use this multi-model okay how we can install uh, the hugging face and from the hugging face itself how we can access this model and how we can perform different different tasks if you don't know about Florence 2, Florence 2 is a multi-model uh, like powered by Microsoft. So they have developed this particular model. So with the help of this Florence 2 model, you can perform object detection, image classification, image segmentation, OCR. Okay. Then you can also perform uh, automatic data labeling. So everything is possible uh, with just one model. So this model takes prompt based on the prompt. It decides what kinds of tasks actually want to perform. Let's see if we are giving prompt related object detection, so it will perform the object detection. Similar wise, you can also, also perform let's see, image classification, segmentation and so on. So let me show you this uh, demo, how we can perform our data labeling with the help of uh, this Microsoft Florence 2. So guys, in my YouTube channel, you can see I already created one video uh, about this Florence 2, Microsoft Florence 2 and advanced vision foundation multi-model. Okay, so go ahead and try to watch this video guys. So you will get each and everything. Even in that video, I also showed you the like research paper of this uh, model. Okay, they have published like Microsoft has published. Okay, you can check out this video. Now here I already created one uh, collab notebook guys. Uh, so here we'll be uh, learning the demo. So in this collab notebook, we'll be doing the experiment. First of all, uh, we have to install some package. So if you want to use hugging face guys, you have to install some additional package. So let me install additional package. But before that, make sure you are connected with the GPU. So let me connect. See, it's already connected. Now let me connect my GPU. So guys, as you can see, my installation is completed. Now, next thing, I have to import some of the libraries. So here you can see I have imported some of the libraries and I'm also importing transformers. And from transformers, I'm importing auto model for casual LM and auto processor because if I want to load this uh, Florence model, I have to import this to a uh, library. Okay, now let me import it. Now Florence, uh, like uh, having actually two kinds of model. One is the large model, one is the base model. You can see the hugging face. So let me open in the hugging face. Mm, see guys, this is the model and here it is available. And in that video, I already discussed everything. So please try to check it out. See, it is having different, different model, base and large. Okay. So you can check it out there. So let me open it up. Now let's load this large model. I'm going to use the large model. So here you can see I'm loading the model and I'm also loading the processor. Processor means the tokenizer. That means it will process the data first of all, then it will uh, like give to the model. Okay. This is the idea. Now let me load it. So first of all, it will download from the hugging face. Then it will load my uh, model as well as my uh, this one uh, tokenizer. Now here I'm getting one error. The error is like this model file requiring the following package. Uh, okay, so this package actually it is required, but I think I already installed. Let me check. Um, just a minute. So this is the command guys. Let me copy. Yeah, let me execute. Uh, see guys, installation is completed. Now if I click here, so now it will load the model. Now see, here we'll be learning about data labeling using Florence 2. I think you know what is data labeling. That, that means if you want to perform that's object detection. So what do you usually do? Users first of all annotate the data. So let me show you. So there is one uh, website you can follow. A RoboFlow universe. Okay, RoboFlow. Uh, RoboFlow universe. So it is having actually all kinds of data. Okay. Uh, if you look for any kinds of data for the object detection, image segmentation, image classification, all kinds of data are available. You can filter out, see, object detection, classification, instance segmentation, any kinds of data. Let's say I need object detection data. I'll just click here. See, now see, there are uh, thousands of data are available related to object detection. Now you can like use any of the data. Okay. You can use any of the data and this data is already annotated. This data is already annotated. So you don't need to annotate manually. So if you want to use them, what you can do simply just click on the data. Let's say I want to perform mask detection. I'll, I'll just click here. Now I'll just download the data. Even in my YouTube channel also, I created uh, lots of tutorial related RoboFlow. Uh, let's say how we can annotate the data. Okay. Even how we can use RoboFlow platform to perform the object detection, image segmentation, everything I already created. You can check it out. Now simply click on uh, this one. Now see here you will get one option download data set. Just click here. Select the format you need. Let's say I want to perform YOLO v9 object detection. I'll select the YOLO v9. And after selecting it, you can either download as a zip file, either you can uh, download with the code snippet. Okay, both it is possible. But let's say in some cases you are collecting your custom data. 
uh, you are collecting your custom data so uh, let's say you need to annotate the data somehow so what you can do you can use this kinds of uh, large language model to perform automatic annotation uh, that means let's say uh, here you have one image let's say this is your image and inside that actually you are having one object let's say one person and you want to do let's say this person detection so first of all you have to do the annotation that means you have you'll be creating a bounding box okay like that and it will have actually four coordinate point you can see okay four coordinate point so whenever you do the annotation it usually save this location okay location of this uh, let's say object let's say this coordinate point it will save in a txt file if you are doing yellow format annotation it will save in the txt file okay inside that it will have the location of that object i think you already know that now let's say you are having actually one million one million image okay one million image now just try to think okay how much time actually it will take it will take lots of time even you will also need lots of manpower to perform the annotation fine so instead of like manually annotating what we can do we can use this kinds of large language model okay we can use this kinds of large language model that means multi model florence 2 model and we can simply pass this image to my large language model and large language model will automatically detect the object okay and it will return you it will return you the location location of the object okay the location of the object and you can save this object to the uh, sorry you can save this location to the txt file okay then you can convert the txt file to the yolo format okay that means your annotation file is ready and how this annotation file looks like i think you already know uh, what is the yolo format annotation file let me show you i think you remember we created one uh, uh, project in my youtube channel called uh, license plate detection so there i use different different data from the roboflow okay roboflow universe i downloaded the data and see this is the image with respect to that it is having the labels okay you can see this is having the labels and this is the txt annotation let me show you see this is the txt annotation this is the coordinate point and this is the label okay so these kinds of things will be also generating but not manually with the help of large language model will be generating fine so now let me get back to my notebook see my model and processor has been downloaded now what i will do guys uh, now i'll be down uh, uploading some of the data here see i already downloaded some of the images from the roboflow universe let me show you uh, so here is the image guys so some of the image actually you can see this is a animal image and here you can also see the person as well as some flowers image i have downloaded from the roboflow universe okay now what i will do i will upload these are the images in my google collab for this i have just made a zip file okay you can see data.zip file now let me upload this zip file in my uh, google collab see it is getting uploaded now see here i have written a function called florence2 so this function will take some of the input so the first input actually it will take the task prompt that means what kinds of task you want to perform whether it's object detection segmentation classification or ocr so here you can give any kinds of task let's say whatever task you want to perform then the second thing you can give your data that means the image on top of which image you want to perform the task and the third input you can give the text input that means apart from the prompt you can also pass the text input let's say if text input is equal to none it will take my default prompt otherwise it will add my text input with my prompt and it will create the complete prompt this is the idea only now see whatever prompt actually i'm getting i'm passing to my processor as well as the uh, input image and this will return you the tensor that means input input to the model and i'm passing the input to them to the model and model will generate actually uh, the response that means whatever task you want to perform let's say i want to perform object detection task so it will give you the object location as well as the object label okay this model will return okay here you can see i'm returning that particular output now let me show you one demo of the object detection but before that let me execute this function now i have to unzip the data see i have unzipped now if i refresh and inside data folder you can see all the images present now simply what i will do i'll load one image from the data which is nothing but animal1.jpg so this is the image actually i want to load and i want to perform object detection with my florence2 model now see here the prompt i'm giving od that means i want to perform object detection see inside florence2 i'm giving the task is equal to od and here is the image i have loaded okay now it will give me the object detection results let me show you so guys this is the response i got you can see uh, all the coordinate point i got that means all the detected object so it has detected elephant as well as the person now if you want to visualize them what you can do you can use this uh, function the function name is plot a bounding box now it will take the image as well as the data that means whatever data actually you got now see if i execute and now see if i call the function and if i pass the image as well as my detection okay now see it has given me the visual representation this is the elephant and this is the person okay i hope you cleared now you can also guide the object detection let's say model 
let's say i don't need the elephant i only need the person okay at that time what you can give you can give the text input is equal to man that means i only want to detect the man okay not the animal now see if i give this prompt to my florence to model it will only give you the um, man detection okay not the animal detection let me show you it's like very powerful model guys okay very powerful model they have integrated generative ai as well as the computer vision they have created one hybrid architecture so this is one amazing resource you can use even i personally liked it because uh, let's say whenever i want to do any kinds of computer vision related task i have to do the data annotation and uh, for auto annotation actually this model is amazing okay even i already tested with lots of example it is working better so that is why i have created this video so that you can also learn okay how we can perform this auto leveling and all now see it has already detected the man fine now see uh we'll be doing the auto leveling for this i have written the same function again see same function i've just copy pasted now let me execute it this function now here i've written a function called process image it will take the folder folder path that means in which folder you have the image it will take the path and what it will do it will load all the image one by one and it will pass to the model okay and model will try to give you that particular let's say uh, location object location and that location actually it will save in a txt file so this is the template function i have written you can use this function as it is no need to change anything now let me show you how it will work so let me execute this function now see here is my location of my data so just copy the path and pass it here now call the process image now inside that just pass it now see if i execute now see initially there is no txt file now see one by one it will take all the image it will do the detection and it will extract the location and it will save in the txt file so it will take some time guys let's wait once it is completed i will come back so guys as you can see it's completed now if i show you my folder if i refresh see it has created a txt file now let's say if i open this txt file see uh, this is what I, actually it has saved you can see the complete bounding box as well as the level okay level is rose because this is a rose image if you open this b1 na, b1 jpg it's a rose image see okay now see this is not a yellow format now if i want to convert to the yellow format what i can do i can use this converter okay so here i have created another functional convert to yellow format so it will take the bounding box label image width and okay image height these are the parameter and it will automatically uh, save as a yellow format okay? so that yellow format i think i showed you okay i think you remember so now let me execute this code snippet and here let me give the location again so inside this data folder i'm having all the txt now see if i execute it will automatically convert all the txt file to my yellow format so execution is completed now if i refresh and if i go to the data folder again now if i open the txt file now see uh, it has become uh, the yellow annotation format now see uh, how it is generating the label you can see the label 0 and 1 because here if you see in the preprocessor function uh, i have made this level okay class mapping that means first of all you have to see in the image what kinds of object you are having so if i show you my image so inside image i'm having uh, animal that means elephant person and as uh, and the last one is my flower okay so this three level actually i'm having a elephant person as rose so elephant i have defined with zero ro uh, person i have defined with one and rose i have defined with uh, let's say two and if you have any other class you can also add here in this particular dictionary it will automatically map because you can see it is detecting now it is detecting the object as well as it is also giving me the label here i think i showed you mm, here see okay that's how it, it will do the mapping operation fine so i think you got it how we can perform the auto labeling now we can use this data for uh, your custom training and all you can use any kinds of let's say object detection model and you can train this data so yes guys i hope you like this video so if you like this video guys please try to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time